Oh boy. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. All right. How about a vice chair? Aye. Uh, sorry. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? That that helps because it says we set last year we're doing it with our procedures, but we made sure that two of us can sign things. Yes. So that if one of us isn't around or she needs something right away, somebody can get here. And and you have flexible work. When you're at work, it's hard to get away. I'm sure it would be for Nicole. Who knows where Matt is part of the time? Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm either in North Carolina or a mile up the road. <laughs> so okay, the board clerk. I'll make a motion to nominate Justin as board clerk. I will second that. I'll third it. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. The uh, as you okay. see the the um, which had time to do it. Hard to remember change them from uh, Yeah, we just if y'all, if you want, we just need to have somebody uh, prove it as presented. Yeah. I don't think there were any changes or we had any problems last year. We don't. So let me... Yeah, this is all. Yeah, yeah, I don't say when we're going to decide when we do it next. I'll make the motion okay. to adopt the rules and pr of procedure. As presented. As presented. So it's, uh, as presented. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you said. Uh, I'll second that. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Volunteers for slaying offices. And I know Kim, you have found us a solid voice district person. Oh, you did? I did. Is he on here? So I don't think he's on here because he's considered an elected official. Ah, okay. If he expects to draw and wants to move again, because he's on the Australian ballot, or that position is on the Australian ballot. Okay, right. So, right. so um, when it's, I guess it's right. If somebody isn't, if it's an open to select, you can appoint. You right? can appoint, absolutely. Gotcha. Okay. So I don't know if you want to do that, like do your slate of, these are typically like your slate of volunteers. Yeah. You yeah. could do yeah. that. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Your volunteers. Okay. You got it. So. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because no one stepped down. No one's. Yeah. Yeah. For this cemetery. Except right. for the cemetery. I know that the, the yellow, the yep. town finance is in inactive. Right. But do we need to so, change Norma, that? Normie Andrews has passed away. Yes. Yeah. Right. So he should be not on that list. Correct. That's where I was yeah. going. Yeah. I think that might be a, a good thing. You don't know, I appreciate the fact that you're cheer now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, as, as thinking about, and Brent and I, I think you and I have talked a little bit, but like at the next meeting, to with this whole new structure that we have now. And we know um, there are a variety of things that that we now as a board and hopefully we'll be able to focus on. Um, and, and that doing that, I'm sure one of it would be economic development, you know, and with Brent working with and trying to figure out, but that's a long term and then trying to come up with a strategy and that might be the time that we go looking at if it isn't this committee, it's a, some kind of economic development committee or something that we create to, to look at that sort of thing. So I don't know if, if with the town finance, we just sort of want to put that on hold. Um, well, it has to be anyway, right? Still. So why do you think that? Because it says on hold pending on it. I don't think that. 
I don't think it needs to wait for that. Oh, okay. No, no, right. No, the audit but, doesn't matter, right? I mean, it is a priority. Those audits need to get done. Right. And I know we're working on them, but right. I don't think that a finance committee needs to wait for the audits to be complete. Gotcha. Um, there will be things that a finance committee will need to know when the audit's complete, like before they make some decisions on investing or, you know, whatever. Um, so, you but I think, see, that's that's the sort of thing that we need to have a whole conversation about, about sure. how we do that as opposed to, you know, and how we want to do it. Because we know um, we have in Jennifer a, you know, a while she's on that, a tremendous, and do we, do we want to think about it and create some kind of more comprehensive thing that's looking at finance and economic development, or I don't know what, um, you know, just that. Uh, yeah. So we'll try to look forward here and instead of how how we used to do things. So in yeah. in until a finance committee is created, um Jen and I will work together with investments. Um as town treasurer by statute, I'm the person that does the investments. So if the select board says invest, you know, look into investments for you know whatever. Jen will determine how much is available. The select board will decide how much they want to do. I'll go out and search for those, you know, banks and rates and then present it to the board and the board would then make a decision as to what they want to do. We will we've done that with the ones in November. Yeah. And we'll continue to do that until we have a, a structure within a finance committee to do it. I, the on the bottom of the community circle thing, we really we don't the town doesn't appoint those people. Um, well, where it's at the bottom of the first page. So um, I don't, I didn't bring the town report with me. Um, I know that's what it said in the town report. So right. When I get ready right. to put all of those boards and committees and everything yeah. in that uh, board committee page, right. I literally contact everybody. Yeah. And they tell me the list. So the people that are on those lists in the town report are the current active people per the, per, per the committees. Um, I don't have the names off the top of my head. That's a correct one. No, I know that. But does this imply that the, it shouldn't imply that the select board appoints these people. They are really an independent committee that we brought in under the town umbrella for insurance and all sorts of things. We don't, yeah. the select board really doesn't have anything to do with them, if you will. So I think they can be, well, how do you want to yeah, exactly. do that? So they can be them on here as as the board created the committee. But no, 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 I don't think we the board created them. I think they created well, themselves. Really well, yes, but bringing them under the umbrella of the town, right. there right. is some responsibility to the right. town so that they can have the insurance. And right. them appointing wow. their own committee is their ability to do so but do we leave them yeah, on your right. plate as if you're appointing them when that's not what we're doing right when i told the group the other night and i don't know if this is right but i said we just give them a list and then it's like because they were worried they were they were saying the same thing yeah right and i said we just give them a list and they say okay <laughs> you're on this yeah. group or they and so going. they give us the list yeah exactly that's what we yeah, do right. yeah. yeah and then yeah we just yeah acknowledge that they're on the list on the group. Well, I mean the rec committee and the guy on. I mean they are kind of all are under that same idea. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they are right. Yeah. It's almost a little subgroup of the right. Yeah. Again, because I again because it calls causes heartburn where there is no need for heartburn when it, um maybe is it a special group that it's committees that. That report to the select board. Uh, that I don't. I don't know. It'd be a good thing to think about. <laughs> Another one of those. What do you? What do you? Is the community circle? Could well, you're on that, so you can yeah. keep right. us posted. Right. If, 
Yeah. So what would be the reporting? I like obviously finance stuff. It's like if they if we have funds recreation, um, if we have funds where we're holding for them, are they beholden to report that information to us? I mean, we have just got a deposit. A, a large, a large payment from one of the rec group. Well, I don't know which rec group, but one of the rec groups that ended up being concessions, a lot of money in concessions yeah. over a period of time. So if we are dealing with some of that finance and taking in revenue and paying some expense, there should be yeah, um, there's some level of right. responsibility to the board. But the community circle has its own account and doesn't like there's a change money. Things. There's different right. things kind of happening. You know what I mean? There's different committees or the right. different level of what's going on with like their finances versus the rack. Right. You've got a fund for them and they're making money set aside for them. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, there is. Yeah, for the rack. But the community circle is completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's one of many things we don't have an answer to. Oh, good. You got the sign. <laughs> Let's add it to my list. <laughs> you and Brent can figure this out. The man will help you. That's right. You <laughs> could add that committee on here, and rather than listing all the people, you could just put committee appointments. Appointments by committee. I like that idea. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I like that idea. That yes. That it's not the board doing right. it. Right. The committee no. doing it. That way, anybody looking at this slate of officers knows that the board's not doing it as the committee. Yep. And I'll continue to contact the committees for town report people. Yeah, right. right. To make sure that's correct. Yeah. yeah. So, should we do the same type of thing for like Guyon? Yeah. And the running really committee so. as well, yeah. because yeah. they appoint their own people yeah. as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not in High Park, right? Like, not in High Park. Oh, those two. I was like, was like not High Park. Park. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not. <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe that one. Cool. I think those are the only ones, right? That we. Now, I have a question. If I make a motion to approve this, do we have to, like, Mary, do we have to approve Mary first and then Valerie's? Well, they're on that, they're going for that committee, so it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't we have their list. Are they but we're not appointing them. It's right. Because they're not having committees that we're not going to appoint anymore. Yeah. Or we never did. Really. We never did. Well, uh, Valerie's we never for did. the planning commission. Oh, yeah. No. There's this for different. There's a, Mary's is for the DRB. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we should appoint them first. I agree. So, so who do you who do we appoint first? I make the motion to appoint Mary to the DRB board. Okay. Or which is just specific. Okay. Uh, for the four, four year. year. Yep. <clears throat> I second that. Okay. okay. Um, all in favor of appointing Mary Walsh to the DRB, which is saying. Signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? And Bob Melvin's staying on the planning zoom, but he just didn't want to chair. I think that's how can we do something like, like you guys? Don't they? They must do their own organization. Chair. Yeah, yeah, but right. he's not he on. Just he wants to stay on. See ya. No, I don't think he was. Uh, no, next year. Okay, it's next year. Okay. You do the chair.
We would go to 28, but we have different things. Yeah. Well, oh, I was looking at the wrong line. I was looking at this one. Oh, sorry. So I think we have to appoint him too. Uh, Which manner? Because they've already put him in, like they're going to. Oh, um, Jesus. <laughs> That's why there's so many of us. Well, then we'll make a motion for him to then make an election. Should we do it as one? Oh, no, we just approved that one, right? right? Yes. Yeah, we just did Mary, right. So because Bob Melvin and Valerie Dalcourt are highly, does that mean they need to be reapproved? Okay. Oh. That's, That's what we were just, just yeah, yeah, we were just figuring out. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to appoint Bob Melvin to the. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Okay. And Valerie Belcour to the planning commission. Planning commission for your terms. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have too many charts sideways and up and down here. That's it. Um, I want to talk about the road commission. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you. Yep. Led to great confusion, but it was, uh, let's see, on my part, and then it was on Mark's part, and then finally Ron got us sitting out. And it was when Ron finally got through my head <laughs> that that um, that the road commissioner is a statutory position. So towns have to appoint a road commissioner and the select board appoints a road commissioner and you have to do it yearly. So you can't say you're the road commissioner for eternity, but in every meeting after town meeting, you have to appoint. Okay. And Mark hadn't, because the way we had his letter of high, his contract done, it looked as though, well, in fact, he said, so does that mean if in the letter of hire, you, you have them as a road commissioner, that he could lose his job, not just the road commissioner, but he could lose the whole job with a different select board. And like, oh, yeah, I can see that. So, so he said, okay, so we're doing a new one and taking the road commissioner out. And once he understood that the road commissioner thing is a statutorily appointed thing, and that we can, as a select board, appoint him, it's for a year, and say his duty is to deal with the public. And that's all we have to do. And then he's the road commissioner, which he's already doing, <laughs> but okay. it doesn't get snarled up in his letter of, in his contract. It only took me about three months to get that one, that one figured out. I was, okay. I was missing the thing about it being um, a statutory requirement, the select board point. So I guess I need a, a, a move that uh, Mark French be appointed the road commissioner for Hyde Park. Um, it's a year long position, and that in that responsibility, he will, will deal with complaints and concerns from the public about the roads. So moved. <laughs> okay. I'll second that. There we go. All right. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? And I sort of did that separately because. All the confusion that's been around the commissioner yeah. forever. Then, Brett, can we just do a motion to approve everybody else? Yes. <laughs> We're going to make this poor man crazy the way we do things. This is a you out. We have to get a committee <laughs> to do that. Yes, we may. We may need to. And then call a subcommittee for that committee. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll vote. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a if you think Ron was organizer, but this is a very organized yeah. man. Okay. <laughs> okay. So well, I've been running screening for meetings before. <laughs> okay. So a motion to uh accept this the who, who are we the uh the appointed volunteers for the slate of officers. 
I'll make the motion. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. I think it's slightly painful. <clears throat> Now that one more thing, we yep. need to approve the policy regarding conflicts of interest and ethical conduct for the agricultural yeah. month. That's what it's all for. I'll make the motion. We don't need to make any changes to that, right? We haven't had to do this yet. Um, I will make a motion to accept the policy regarding conflicts of interest and ethical conduct as, as presented. Uh, I think I'll second it. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Okay. Town meeting day review. We survived one much more quietly as we continue to, much more quietly than most communities in the Yeah. Um, well, it doesn't have a direct impact on us. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the school budget. I don't know. What else? And the elementary didn't pass. Yeah, the elementary school budget didn't pass, so there will be a budget. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. High so school. But only like by what? 35? Yes, yes. But not by many. 37. Uh, but, and the high school budget did? The yep. High school budget and the tax has. Isn't that good? I thought so too. So there will okay. be, at some point, I guess my guess would be late April, early May, there will be um, another election to get that. Past potentially. I'm assuming the school board will have to revamp whatever their budget is to get it percentage. Yeah. Well, with that, do you, do you have, let's see, we know how many times there is, do we have a time by time? Ah, did you see that? No. I So I don't. All I have is what Chas and um, which. Oh, what passed and what? Uh, no. Because we don't know people voted in each town. Oh, how many people voted in each town? Right. I don't know. That. Right. I think, yeah, you know how many people um, vote each town. I know there are 715 in Cambridge because that's the town I counted. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. But the other one, yeah, unfortunately, okay. I'm not sure. No, Donna not. would have just curious. curious. But... Yeah, it was sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking at the, the modified oh. elementary ballot had a little over 1,300 ballots voted. And Hyde Park had... 568. 569. 569. 569. Yeah. 569. Yeah. I was like, where, where are the... Uh, oh, okay, Cambridge is yeah, it. Cam they're oh, not the, oh, oh, right, they're not part of the elementary. Yeah, Cam right. Cambridge passed. Cambridge passed their budget. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. So the high school then had almost 2,000, and we had 569. Yeah. I think Cambridge had 715. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of a little bit of your numbers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. 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 What Johnson had. Yeah. I'm curious what they had. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, anything else about town meeting? It was busy at polls. Yeah, oh. no, that actually, that I think that works quite well. You know, yeah. people that do come to town meeting, and so when they're leaving, almost all of them yeah. are swinging. Yeah, go right by. So yeah. did, it, did you have complaints about that, Kim? So or? I was at the school for the floor meeting. Yeah. And, you know, kind of up and downstairs helping people doing stuff. So while I was down here, I didn't hear anything. And Marissa the didn't share anything, because we did talk about that. Yeah, I was she curious. She okay, was good. Yeah. Good. So, well, I mean, or why I bothered to explain it so people would know that we weren't staying here just to be nasty. <laughs> yeah. Well, they made sense of that machine. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. Yeah. After it what they went through sense. last year, it's like just made no sense to yeah. go through that. Yeah. yeah. You think the well, Senate worked moving everything, yeah. not yeah. only the machine, but all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, saved a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, it just, just worked out okay. So that's good. And I guess people, how many people were actually there, Kim? Oh, yeah. I mean, 
Oh, and then last year was 78. Oh, interesting. Same <laughs> basis. Yeah. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah there usually exactly. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is. And we're not exactly a young crew. <laughs> I'm sorry, H. They won't. So looking in the crowd, I thought exactly no. that. And um, the youngest person that I see there was Alex Jones. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Stephen yeah. Carroll's son. Yep. And I love that kid. Yeah. But he was, you know, involved in listening. And he must only be in his 20s, right? Yeah. So, yeah. He graduated, I think, the year, the year after Jake. So 26. Is he yeah. Is he really? Yeah. It's like we need to figure that out because, you know, getting the. Well, I mean, I didn't care when I was that age. So, I mean, so I guess it's common, but still. I will say it's very disheartening as an election person seeing a three point whatever million dollar budget being passed by 81 people. I agree. That's really disheartening. Yeah. How many people go to the informational meetings for the schools? Hardly yeah. people. If yeah. that I don't, but I just vote for it no matter what. It doesn't matter what they present. Yeah. I just do it. Yeah. I think this is something you can't change, but you have to it used to be everybody just shut down yes. for town meeting and it yeah. doesn't now. So not you have to use a vacation day or time off day or whatever yeah. you have to use. And some people well, are like, so then no, you, you change it, but towns have changed it. don't no, seem to have much better. Yeah. Luck. yeah. They do it at night. They don't seem to have much better luck. Yeah. yeah Cause we've I, talked about yeah. that. Well, yeah. I went to a meeting when I first started a couple of years after I was clerk and there were a half a dozen or more moderators in this meeting. And they said the same thing. So we went to a Saturday, we had less attendance. We went to a night, we had a little bump, but still less than our Tuesdays. Yeah. And they tried everything and they just went back to Tuesdays because yeah. that's what they thought was going to help, didn't. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's that's it. I think you know, a lot of people just can't get time on time off. Yeah. I mean, how many, you think about it, it's it, that's the last day of school vacation. How many employees from the schools are at these, you know? How many? Yeah, that's right. They're, they're oh, true. That's right. When you look at when you look around the room, how many of them are? Well, back when the school budget was going on before at the town meeting, oh, it was much bigger. That's right. We had a lot, right. yeah, much higher. Like yeah. people got back from vacation to be at town meeting to pass the budget. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I when I worked at the school and I I was always there. Yeah. I also think like it's a it was an hour so. Not, but other towns do like events and lunch, and and I don't think we should drag it on. But also, that we don't have a lot to discuss, or maybe yeah, this year we didn't. Or yeah, I mean, I remember would be more. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, and it was at the elementary school. We used yes. to go all day, yes. and there was lunch. And, I mean, I I remember the the streets of the village were packed, and yeah. my grandparents lived across the road. You could just see that it was just yeah. an all day thing, yeah. and it was a community thing, and it was just. We were so quiet down in the back of the room. Yes. Like yeah. Two seconds. Well, yeah. quite a couple of years ago, I remember that because we had to move to, you know, Lamoille, the right Lamoille. Lamoille. And we talked about moving it back and we took it to town meeting, maybe it was three years ago now. And we asked if they wanted and they wanted to open it. And we did a straw. We were stunned people did not want to go back. Interesting. Well, it's better now. It is. I mean, yeah. you, got, you, you can park in front of the courthouse and get to the gym just as much as a loyal. <laughs> you know, the parking lot, you've got just as far to go. That's yeah. true. That's mm -hmm. true. No, I, I don't, uh, well, the issue of how to get, you get civic engagement, certainly. And even if people don't tune in when we're doing these meetings, I know that people go and watch them. Right, right. yes. You know, exactly. So that, you know, yeah, there is that. Yeah, I've that yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, a lot so of that does help. So there are people that are paying attention and, and, and being involved, which is good. So, but, and again, the number of people that voted yesterday shows that people are concerned. Yeah. And they and they do vote, but they can do that before they go to work or after they get out of work. Yeah, or, or absentee or ballot or something. Yeah, because yeah. you had a lot yeah. of absentee ballots. We had a little bit more than we did four years ago. We had like a hundred and well, we issued a hundred and thirty something. We had a hundred and um, nineteen presidential primary and a hundred and twenty-one town. So. There are some years we have like over 300. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Survived another year. <laughs> 
Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? I know we need to do a executive session about that. Yeah. Oh, it's good. We forgot, yeah. we forgot to get back to oh, that. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So uh, sorry, waste. waste. Oh, oh. Waste. Yep. so um, Maurice Brigham and his wife Judith have moved here from Bethel. Judith and Maurice were both listeners yeah. in their town for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was also their solid waste oh. supervisor. And he said that if nobody got a write in campaign going and nobody was elected, he would be very interested in being that person for Hyde Park because he has the knowledge and experience. Yes, I will come to the next meeting. And Absolutely. So he's Nate's dad. Yes. Nate. Oh, Nate. oh, okay. Nate's dad. Very good people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And they just moved here recently? Just yes. Yeah. In October, because they actually called me about a they needed a spam number for their oh for the homestead declaration, but because it wasn't here in April, oh, we don't can't do them until April, and they just couldn't begin to understand that. Said, but you were a lister. <laughs> well, never heard of that. Maybe they had a working. Maybe. So you know we can make up one but it's not going to work because you didn't own the property. In April, and the form says right on exactly. Do you own the property, property in April first? Well, they didn't. They, they didn't, didn't know until October. Yeah. So, I know the one other when for this year, which doesn't mean that we can't change it. But when do we want to meet? Oh, again, I had you know we talked before about seeing if we can we can uh, get to once a month, which I think we can do, and and with the with the idea and again brent and i had talked and think if for the next meeting if everybody comes sort of thinking about what what's a long-term project that's near and dear to your heart that you'd like to be involved with um i i think it's like for you know with the dog count you know that if yeah. a select board <laughs> is interested in something and start working on it you're working with brent you're working with everybody then when we have a meeting you don't have to have all those people come in and talk to the entire select board about it you know, that the select board person that's doing it can say, okay, and here's all the homework and here's what's happening. We get the information before. And if we have any questions, then you can follow up on it. But that we we ought to be able to get to a, um, I think that'll sort of split up the workload some, let folks get uh, that are really interested in something. I mean, you know, I'm 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 going to stay getting this rail trail thing done. You know, we got the artwork, we got a big grant coming in to do the whole thing and do a pavilion and you know and that sort of stuff. You know, we got Savannah's on the dogs. Okay. Let's, we'll see what Cole's in just to start thinking about that sort of that sort of stuff and and see how it goes. Um, my in in terms of how do you how do you involve people? My desire in doing that is to get. Is, is to see the select board is to how to have you young people be able to keep doing this. You know, how can Matt keep doing it? And if you can get it down to, there's the work you're doing outside for the select board anyway, but if you can get it down to one meeting a month and if a bunch of stuff backs up and we can do a special one, right. I think hopefully that will make it more realistic for, for young people to stay on the, to stay on the board and, and do things because, you know, I love Hyde Park and take care of it, but Dudes, I'm old. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people sitting out in the audience. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I really am. So to have a have a group of much younger folks on a select board, I think, is really important. And as we have this sort of different structure now, I think provides some really exciting opportunities for Hyde Park to grow and to develop some really neat things. Yeah. But key is I, a part of that is having having a a bunch of younger people on the board. Come from the younger. Yeah, I know. You are. Well, that's why that's why you see you keep an old person when you're all young. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, you guys are kids. <laughs> you guys are kids. <laughs> so when do we start to say Susan? It's seasoned. It's seasoned season. That's right. That's well that's seasoned. seasoned. <laughs> Age. So, yeah. When we go to if we do the one meeting a month, again, I you know I expressed as much as I would love one meeting. Um, I expressed some concern about the warrants and making sure with that kind of stuff. But if we can sign those, well, we can sign those, and she posts it anyway. So and she can, can yeah. get them mailed out. So yeah. thanks, aren't yeah, we? We can do that anytime. Right. 
and we just get on a new man. I'm sure Jen would appreciate only having to do one finance report a month versus two, which is less work probably for her too. Um, I'm just trying well, to be double back. And I asked her, I said, you know, if, if you have it, she's like, that would be great. I said, did she have a preference where, you know, the beginning of the month, before the month, before oh. the month, the month, she was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you know. Yeah, because what's going on is comes in is, you know, it's time thing. She said, now, one of the things at your next meeting is we need to buy the beginning of April. It doesn't have to be absolutely committed, but we need to figure out the ARPA money. I'd say right now what we have, she knows what she's going to need at the end, taking a guess at what she needs at the end of the year to plug some holes. But we have maybe $350,000 that we have to allocate. So, and, yep. and again, it doesn't have to be in a contract, but to be pretty, the league is as long as you got it allocated before the end of this year, right? Right, right. that's the right. Right. that's the drop dead, right? Spend before the end of 2025. That's what I thought, right? Okay. But, but does the board the board try to commit any of that before June 30? You don't have to, we, we don't have to, yeah, yep. Okay. As long as you have it committed before the before December 31st, okay. Okay. right? Perfect. The the league is encouraging you don't have to have the contract committed but they're encouraging you to have it here's what we're doing with the money jen has to report that at the beginning of april because the fear is is that if washington sees right you think all over the country a bunch of things from the states oh there's all this not committed money poof yeah it disappears Mm -hmm. And no, no problem committing the money. So far, they haven't changed the reporting strategy yet. Yet, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here's that. Because we had the same problem. Yeah. Um, the fire station's going to come in. Um, with looking, you know, for their addition, going out the back and doing all that sort of stuff. Uh, that was that was that was <laughs> that was helpful counting with Greg last night. Like he'd just done the plans for him. I said, what's it going to cost? He says, it's around 200000 <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Let's see. We have uh, we have the new truck that's about 260000 that's just coming in, Mark's new truck. Right. Um, let's see. In about three or four years, we have a new fire truck at about $300,000. And we need to place the order for the greater this year for the two of $450,000 or $500,000. So... It shouldn't be hard to spend three hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm also going to make sure that Mark gets. He said that they have a trade in. I want to make sure to see what actual money we actually get on yes. this trade in yeah. prior before us committing to a number to them. Right. So if it saves us a couple of bucks and we can divert that to something else, then I recommend that we're going to do yeah. that. Yeah, Mark. Mark yeah. is is Mark is a we got a, we got a couple of good people in this town that are good. At getting the maximum amount of money in trade ins. Uh, Brent Landfield oh, and my Mark gosh. are like, yeah, you want to sell something, give it to them. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're great. Mm -hmm. So, but, but that's where um, Jen today was saying, and I'm sure she'll be telling you that she'd like to, at the March meeting, have a focus conversation about this money that's left over. Some ideas about what we want to do because we, of course, we know there's the other long list of everybody who would like something, but right then it's the what's what's the best investment of that money for taxpayers? Yep. Um. So back to the meeting day and time of the month. Do you guys have? I know you're both on other committees and meetings. Do you have? nights that don't work or times of the month that don't necessarily work no i can pretty much make anything work okay me too first monday is when the community circle meets but i mean can we just keep it tuesdays sure they yeah, already know we have to do a tuesday already so third tuesday of the month that would be you pick the one tuesday i can do it oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> so second tuesday of the month yeah, so that brings us to just next week, but <clears throat> okay. or or again, if you if you know we were at the last Tuesday, last Tuesday of the month, she could I don't you know that's why I said Jim sure. was like 
and that would last one, certainly and that would coincide with our recent meetings so yeah maybe the last tuesday of the month yeah that that would certainly um which is already one that we're i think we were well, we did. We, we say the second, fourth. We were second and fourth. And right. Fourth. So, would you keep 26. it the last Tuesday, or would you keep fourth, the fourth? Yeah, keep okay. it. Yeah. Fourth, fourth Tuesday. Or first. Okay. Yeah. And that's going to be the attempt to do one meeting a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that would be yeah. first meeting being March twenty sixth. Yeah. Still so six. Passenger, she said that would be great. <laughs> Give her all this month, and they're trying to close up. And all kinds of things. Right. And we'll still do right. 6 p.m. Or do we want, yeah. because we're doing, I was oh, thinking this, if we're doing one meeting a month and with his travel back home, like, do we want to do a 5.30 start? Is that something you guys can do or is that not reasonable? I would, I'd be in favor of that. I don't okay. know about Matt. Matt would, Matt would be the only question on that one. Why don't, why don't you just check with him? I will. See what works. And if 5.30 works, that's fine. Yeah, because yeah, I can. I, can you make five? I mean, I would mm -hmm. prefer that yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we'll be, you know, we'll be so hungry we'll get out. Right. I'd like to come from work. So. That's what I was. Yeah, come right over. Exactly. So we go to Matt about that to confirm time. I'll, I won't text him now because he's in the gym probably. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait for the game so, to start. There's two, so there's one right back in. Perfect. Oh, yeah. wait, Division One. No, Division Two is a No, three is playing. Right. I, I think tomorrow night. I don't know. So that, I think, mm -hmm. if there isn't any other. Um, I have a question. Oh. I don't know. Can I bring this up? Um, I last meeting we talked to, to <laughs> last meeting we talked about Brent's office in the break room. Oh, right. And I took my, took the pizza up the other night and I kind of feel bad that he's over in the corner at the end. Can we like. It's already in the room. Oh, good. Yeah. And so moving break room and uh temporarily we're gonna set up a cubicle area from the side okay. and, yeah. and then moving forward whatever the select board decides to do moving forward with the village uh are you okay with that that's good yes. or okay okay, okay. yeah okay. short term Unless okay say, okay so we should shortly hear from the village what they're what they're playing okay what they're i just thought that it would be a lot i mean even if they do something it's going to be a while it's not going to happen I, I, night, would, so. I would think but then we find out what it is i think then we come up with them. i think me and brian are selected or scheduled to have a meeting sometime next week so. okay oh great okay as long as you're good i'm okay great okay is the village ever going to make use of the french house or is that it's off the table i asked that against the village right? you don't know no no it's too bad it just sits there know. it's so sad so sad I mean, I th well, I, I think the problem is, you know, there's asbestos and all kinds of things. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I've heard it's mold in there. Well, I'm sure it's been happened. shut it's up. Had me. What, five years? No, no longer than longer. Has it been longer? It has to have been longer than that, right? Probably. Jeez. I bet it's 10. I bet it's close wow. to 10, too. Oh, it's wild. Yes. No. Nope. So we'll we'll who knows we'll we'll see what that happens. is. Some beautiful hardwood floors. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful woodwork. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Gave away the best candy on Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Did they? Yes. Oh, yes. Loved going there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the things I remember. <laughs> things I remember about growing up in Hyde Park. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that's it. I know we need an executive session to deal with. You know. Oh, oh yeah. We need to make yes. Good luck, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Get some sleep there. I had three last night, so dang me. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'll make a motion. Yeah, I'll go to go into executive session. All touching button. Oh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Now, oh, that's right. Now we got to get.